Today I am announcing my intention to step down as First Minister and leader of my party. We're bringing you some breaking news out of Scotland. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has just announced her resignation after more than eight years. Sturgeon has been in the position since 2014. And we have some breaking news for you this hour. Nicola Sturgeon is to resign as First Minister of Scotland. She was, of course, the first female First Minister and the first woman to lead any of the devolved UK administration. So Now, another big story today. Scotland's First Minister is resigning. Nicola Sturgeon has led the Scottish National Party, which wants independence from Britain for more than eight years. Scotland's First Minister is resigning, saying she is not the asset she once was in the fight for an independent Scotland. Today I am announcing my intention to step down as First Minister and leader of my party. Seated among the trees of the world, I started to see very interesting things start to take shape. Among the happenings of the day, my face shining bright like the crystals of the sand, a door from within opened and I began to capture events of the future. And this that I saw, I came to understand that it was that nation of the hills and the valleys and the green pastures, the nation of Scotland. And in Scotland, I see changes beginning to be put in place in that land. And I see changes from the top leadership of that nation. And I see something new arises and it baffles so many. Today I am announcing my intention to step down as First Minister and leader of my party. I have asked the National Secretary of the SNP to begin the process of electing a new party leader. We are bringing some breaking news out of Scotland. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has just announced her resignation after more than eight years. Sturgeon has been in the position since 2014. This decision is not a reaction to short term measures. Now, another big story today. Scotland's First Minister is resigning. Nicola Sturgeon has led the Scottish National Party, which wants independence from Britain for more than eight years. Now, she told a hastily arranged news conference that it was the right time to make way for someone else and insisted her decision wasn't prompted by short-term pressures. The nation of Scotland. And in Scotland, I see changes beginning to be put in place in that land and I see changes from the top leadership of that nation and I see something new arises and it baffles so many. And we have some breaking news for you this hour. Nicola Sturgeon is to resign as First Minister of Scotland. She was of course the first female First Minister and the first woman to lead any of the devolved UK administration. So breaking news here on Sky News, Nicola Sturgeon is to resign as the Scottish First Minister. Let's take you. Today though she said politics has just gotten more quote brutal since she took office and that in her head and in her heart she just had to go. She did also though remind people she has been campaigning for Scottish independence since she was a teenager but you know that movement now with her resignation will falter her, her successor. Notably her predecessor today also said though that there is no clear strategy now for that movement.